Now, the moment of truth is about to arrive for some very committed South Australian athletes. They'll be vying for gold at the National Special Olympics, which get underway next week. And it will be extra special this time. It's the first time the event's being held in Adelaide. 850 intellectually disabled athletes from all over the country will be competing. But I caught up with some South Aussie contenders who've been hard at it for months. Let me win, but if I can't win, let me be brave in the attempt. They're determined to give it their best shot. Meet Therese, Peter, Damien and Sam, just four special athletes who will be flying the flag for South Australia. I've been playing up for when I was, what, five or something, when I was a little toddler. So I used to have <laughs> soccer boots and shorts and that. For most, competing on the big stage has been a lifelong dream. Come show me what you got. Uh. Not to mention a training session with your sporting hero. Oh, Pete's a huge Adelaide oh, United great. fan. Ah, good... oh, great shot. And he gave keeper Eugene Galakovich a run for his money. So you feel like you're well prepared for the games? Yeah. You've put yeah. a lot of hours into it. No, I put hours. I put hours in every week. Therese has been at it for hours too. Born in a love for awful trust day on a Tuesday night, every Tuesday night over at Marin Bowling. I was so sad about morning. If I get like hips and scotch, you see me I will like off the planet. And with every reason, you see Therese knows how sweet victory tastes. She won a swag of medals at the Special Olympics in the US. That was more than 10 years ago when she was a gymnast. But these days you'll find Miss Versatility at your local bowling alley. Yeah! Well done, Therese. Well done. How many strikes is that? That comes three. Oh, I reckon four. One, two, three, four. And they just keep coming. Swimmers on your marks. Over at the North Adelaide Aquatic Centre, the determination is just as fierce. Damien's been training up to four times a week. Well done, Damo. That was great. It's tough getting to the end. Yeah, it was. Yes. Yeah, but you got there. I got there. Fantastic. <laughs> Nineteen-year-old Sam lives for shooting hoops. He can't wait for next week to showcase his skills at the powerhouse in front of his home crowd. It will be a um, huge advantage for um, for me and because um, family and friends and all everyone will be coming around, coming and cheering me on and cheering everyone on and that. It's been a tough training schedule and they've been at it for months, even tougher considering all the athletes hold down full-time jobs. So this is just one of the jobs you do here? Oh, I do all the heaps. What else do you do? Um, I do pump trucks. And you've been at Bedford for how long? Uh, two years now. Oh, fantastic. Damien's in hospitality and Therese is in packaging. She's been a Bedford employee for six years. I love the plates and it's really good. You make lots of special friends here, I bet. Yeah, yeah, I really have. Even Chief Executive Max Dyson's become a good mate. I think having a job is the essence and uh, it makes you feel valued and a member of the community for your self-esteem and that's really what we're all about. Yeah, and a, an extension of that, I guess, is the Special Olympics, giving them something to look forward to as well. Absolutely. Special yeah. Olympics is all about achievement and recognising achievement, yeah. celebrating success and having fun. And, you know, that's what ben, you, you saw it today. It's what Bedford's all about. But in recent months, these workers have had only one thing on their mind. You've been thinking about it a lot? Yeah. Quite a lot, yeah. It's not pulling you away from work, <laughs> no, I hope. No, no, no. <laughs> Good on you, Peter. Hey, 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 Peter! Dreams of kicking that winning goal in the dying minutes. Dreams of spinning straight strikes. Dreams of standing tall on the winner's podium. What do you think your chances are of winning a gold? I'll just try hard and, you know, win and, uh, you know, just concentrate on what you're doing. Give it your best? Yeah, it's all I can do. How much does it mean to you to win gold? Everything. It means everything. 
Sure does, and we wish them all the very best. Now, all events apart from Monday's opening ceremony are free, so if you'd like to show your support, head to their website for all the details. It's specialolympics.com.au. That's specialolympics.com.au. But coming up...